What's up, Brand Man Network? Today, I want to talk to you about the waterfall strategy. Now, you might have heard people talk about it before. You might have heard me talk about it before, but I want to make sure you understand the true steps that go into it and how it's really something that applies to bigger strategies. I'll explain that at the end to make sure you're using this correctly. So number one, what's the waterfall strategy? On Instagram, for example, and you want to help something blow up and get traction on Instagram as opposed to just posting on one big page or just posting on some small pages, it's combining the two, right? First, not only do you post on a larger page, the idea is to then after that post on smaller pages because when the larger page posts you, the smaller pages become more likely to actually post your content because these people are always looking for something to actually blow up. They want videos and content to get good traction. So when you reach out to these smaller pages that are trying to get bigger, once they see a big page posted, then they're saying, oh, you know what? I need to go ahead and post this so I can catch the wave before the wave you know, passes me by. They're always looking for those things. That's one thing that goes into it. And sometimes you'll even find smaller pages will post you for free just to make sure they don't miss the wave. But that's not a guarantee, so don't necessarily plan for that. Just be open to, you know, the nice surprise. Now, the second thing to really understand when we're talking about the waterfall method is you're not going to really do it right unless you get multiple big pages. If you really, really want to get it right. Right. And the reason that is, is because you need multiple people to start giving you some traction and that's going to cost more money. But you don't want to just reach out to any random big pages. The hope is that you reach out to two or three at least big pages that can post you and these big pages hopefully have an overlapping audience so then you have this targeted omnipresence you start to appear multiple places to a small fan base so that amplifies the effect of your meme or your post whatever the type of content you're trying to make go viral is but the third and last but not least to really understand about the waterfall method is when we talk about big pages and even starting with big pages, you got to realize there's levels to this thing. You don't necessarily have to start off with a page that has 3 million followers. When we say big pages, big is relative. So if you have, you know, 500 followers, only 1000 followers on whatever social media that you're using, reaching out to a page with 100K might be big for you at this level. Right. So maybe you're reaching out to three pages that have 100K and then you start reaching down to five K or 50 K and all these other levels, because that's going to give you a boost, hopefully from 1000 to maybe 3000 to 5000, right? You can do this thing in levels. You don't have to just think of this uh, strategy as something you have to wait till you can afford to pay for these huge pages. That's besides the point. You actually are self-aware enough to realize where you are in the process. You don't have to hit a home run. That's where most people fail. They try to go for the home run and they could get a lot of nice base hits until they eventually make their way all the way around instead. This isn't the one cheat code that's just going to change everything forever. So keep that in mind. Other than that, that's it. Let's get it.